Hello, this is Sausage Fingers and welcome to Space Engineers. Now the game is fully released. This is a how-to. This is a noob's guide. Very, very noob's guide. I am still a noob, but this is everything I wish I'd have known in the first half hour of the game, just to get you initially set up and running. I hope this helps. We're going to go new game. We're going to go custom game. We're going to go star system. Tutorial, I'm going to call it. Auto save, the game saves every five minutes. This is how you put your mods on, but I'm gonna to go to advanced. I can change anything I want to change in here. What I am gonna change is I'm going to, I yeah, I'm gonna keep the drones enabled. Now you can get bad drones and good drones. The good drones will give you drops and you can get good stuff out of those drops. So I would recommend leaving that on. Apart from that, I'm leaving everything as it is. We're gonna go start. Our next screen will be this. For your first time, I would recommend, recommend an Earth-like drop pod. Moon and stuff like that, you need to worry about oxygen and gravity and all of that kind of malarkey. So, Earth-like drop pod. Respawn. This is what you will face. If you hold or press V, you'll change your view. If you hold Alt and scroll in, scroll out, that will give you view distance. I'm gonna go back into the cockpit. Let's, have, let's watch us land. Oh, this is a ropey place to live, isn't it? Oh! Hopefully my landing gear will lock. They are, it's gone green, that means it's locked. That was the most unpleasant landing I've ever had. Okay, press view again. Now, before I even get out of the machine, I'm gonna press I for inventory. I'm going to double click my weapon. This is my inventory, this is the ship's inventory, or anything I'm looking at. If it has further inventories, or connected inventories, we'll press down this button, and that will show us our parachute hatch. It's, this thing's got an O2 and H2 generator, a small cargo container, and a survival kit. Yes. So now, that's all the inventories of the ship. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on my automatic rifle, and I am gonna double click on the NATO magazine. I don't know if I can get these across because I don't know if they're connected. I'm gonna do that from outside the ship. Once I've got them, as you can see, my different toolbars, I can't see my toolbars in the ship, doesn't matter. Press F to get out. As you can see, I am out. I'm going to change my view. If you want your crosshair off, you can do that in the escape menu and options. I can ch also change my internal game menu by pressing tab. That gets rid of the keys. That turns everything off, perfect for screenshots. That turns everything back on. On the bottom left, you can see my oxygen mask is down. So I'm gonna press the J key and that is gonna come up. Because I'm on Earth, now I am no longer using oxygen. The bars in the bottom left are health, oxygen, energy, suit energy, and hydrogen. Hydrogen is your flight energy, as it were, or your flight fuel. Now, as you can see, my gun is not in my toolbar. To go between my toolbars, I'm pressing full stop or comma to go the other way, or control, one, two, three, four, five, like so. Next to the toolbars, you can see the keys are actually there, G. Next to the, just above the G key, there's a little picture of a backpack. That's me inventory. That little blue line is how full or how empty my inventory is. On the left, X is my jetpack. L is my light. If for some reason you discover that it's like that, then you've pressed the tab key by mistake. So just open it back up. You will probably, after you've played the game a while, press that tab key because every time you get a tool out, you get a tool tip on the right. If you press tab once, that goes away. But we'll leave it on for now. Now, I'm, uh, I'm here, I want to build things. Oh, you, I want to place a steel plate, you say, but I can't. Oh, you, oh, you want to place an armor block? I can't because I have no steel plate. How do I get it? What we'll do is we will go back to our ship and have a quick look around. On our ship, you have a survival kit. This is both an assembler and a refinery. They're both very basic. Here is your H2, O2 H2 generator with a supply of ice. Ice is fuel, basically. Now we don't need the oxygen because we're on Earth, but we will take the hydrogen by double clicking. 
what that will enable us to do is you can see down the bottom my hydrogen bar my jetpack fuel when that gets down to zero if I've got a hydrogen fuel bottle it will automatically refill I will not crash to the ground when it comes to zero it will use all the fuel from that bottle before I run out of hydrogen which lasts a long while as well now to put that back over I can either double click it refuel it and then double click it back into my inventory that is how you fill up your hydrogen and oxygen bottles as long as you have ice in there now steel plates we need to refine things you have got a welder for fixing things a grinder for grinding things down for breaking things or a drill the drill is both a miner and a terrain manipulator if you right click you'll dig tunnels and get no ore if you left click you are mining and you will get ore we're just going to mine here for now now initially when you're first playing the game if you're going to dig dig so that you can walk out not fly out because you will run out of hydrogen and you will get stuck in your hole it's happened to me lots and lots of times it's happened to everybody if they say it hasn't they're a liar now to pick up my oars i'm going to press the f key you don't have to spam the f key you can just hold it down we're going to pick up all, all of this stone Inventory, inventory full. full. You can see that bar down the bottom. I will put an arrow. There is the arrow. That shows how full or how em empty your inventory is. That is so handy, that little line. And it took me a long time to find that as well. Now we're going to go back here. I'm going to take the jewel out of my hands by pressing zero. I'm going to move my stone by double clicking it or dragging and dropping it. Or I can control click. To put 10 across i can shift click to put 100 across or i can double click to put it all across and it's the same the other way shift click for 100 control click for 10 but we're going to put it all in now as you can see it's not actually doing anything it's not refining any ore we need to give it something to make so production we are going to go ingots i don't know why that's called ingots it shouldn't be but i'm going to basically shift click that i'm going to build thousands as you can see it's making gravel iron nickel and silicon now we're gonna to have to wait a little while for that to go you'll probably have to mine quite a lot you're gonna to have to dig some holes as you can see that's refining quite happily and i'm getting more and more of the stuff there are a lot more resources available but you will have to find them and i will show you how now toolbars because we're on a planet and there will be baddies at some point we're going to change our weapons onto our toolbar so i'm going to press full stop to change to toolbar 2. as you can see on the left of the toolbar is the letter g so i'll press g i'll go down to character weapons and i can either double click that to put it in the first available slot or i'm going to drag it and drop it and it's the same if you want to choose blocks that you want to yeah i want to I want to build a car or I want to build a wind turbine. I want to build a medium cargo container. You can put that in there. To get that out of there, you right click it. Yes. Cockpit blocks, we haven't got any. There is a progression system, so you will unlock blocks as you go. First of all, I build a basic assembler. That will give me the ability to build an assembler, interior turrets, and so on and so forth. More will open up as you go through the game. So it's up to you to have a look through and see what you want to eventually build and how you accumulate the stuff to build it. Now, as you can see, my hydrogen's getting, well, it ran out, but it filled up straight away from the bottle. So now is a good example of, of how to show you how to fill it up, as it were. That's 89%. I'll double click that into there. It will take some of the ice, turn it into hydrogen, and then I can double click, put it back in here, and I am full up with the hydrogen. It will go from 91 to 100 in a minute. You can see my power has gone down because I've been drilling. Now there is a little gizmo in here. This is like a little first aid shelter and a little power shelter. If you hold down F, your power goes up. Oh, it fills up your oxygen and your hydrogen from there as well. They're all connected via conveyors then. And your health as well. Right, so you've drilled a load of stone. You've got your, you've got your 
ores, as it were, you want to make steel plate. So we'll go back to production. We'll go here to basic components, or we can even search in the search bar. But I'm going to go into basic components. I need steel plate. Again, I can control click for 10. I can shift click for 100. It will take this and it will turn it into your steel plate. The inventory on this thing isn't very big. So if it's stopped building for any reason and you have got enough stuff in there, chances are you're going to have to take out what you've already made before it can continue. Now you'll try and double click on this and it won't come out. You're going to have to click back on inventory and then double click on it. Then you will have it in your inventory like so. I'll put that stone in there. Now that I have my steel plate, I don't have a lot of it. I can, it might come up as a small block, but like that. On the top right, you can see there's there's a small block and a large block. To build a base or a ship, a large ship, we need the large block. So we'll press four again. That will place the large block. Like so. It will build the, I don't know, what you'd call it, the scaffolding for a large block. That is fine. You can build with that. You can build whatever you want with that. You don't actually have to finish it. However, it is a weak structure. So to finish that block off, if you approach it with your welding tool out, it will tell you what you need to finish that. If you double click, your welder will just stay switched on. So we need some more steel to finish that. We need more steel plate. Back to production. We are out of stuff. Now, as you can see, this is in a queue. If you want something to build first, then you have to click that out of the queue. You will do that at some point, and then you'll go, why isn't my thing making stuff? You will have forgotten about this. Okay, unknown signal. You'll get a lot of these, and I ground these things down. You can get goodies. You can get items from these pods. Oh, so we're going to fly over to this. It is on a timer as well. You have to get to this before the timer runs out. But there is ample time. It's very, very generous with the time. Alrighty. We're here. Now, on these things, there is going to be a button and a cargo. There's the button there. I just ground these things down. What I did is I went to the cargo, I stole the cargo, and then I ground it down, not knowing that if you press on the unknown signal button, there is a chance that you can get skins and things. Like, yeah, I got a rainbow helmet. From now on, when you build a medical room in any of your games, survival or on a private server, that skin will be available to your player. Now that I've nicked that, I'm going to go to the cargo and I'm going to nick what's in there. That's the tier 1 drill. It's an enhanced drill. It's much better than your one. You both get more ores and it drills quicker. You can grind this thing down and steal the stuff. You can see on the right all the goodies I'm getting from this. These come, it seems, about every 10 minutes or so, initially in the game. You, these, you rely on these, they are good. They are worth going to get. It seems to be a Space Engineers thing as well. Every now and again, you won't be able to grind it down, so you'll have to have a good old move about. Like, come a bit further away from it, and then you'll be able to grind it again. Right, all this time we've been flying, and we still haven't used all of our hydrogen. So we're going to fly home. As you can see, our respawn pod is on the compass or on the GPS. Now that is all the stuff I got out of that one transport pod. Scrap we can't do anything with at the moment. So dig a hole, put it in and remember it for later. But what we're going to do is, right, you're digging up stone, happy days, but stone gives you rubbish amount of ore. We're going to hold our drill. I'm going to go and fill up my hydrogen bottle first. And we're going to go and I'm going to show you how to find ore. 
We're going to fly straight up in the air. And you need you need your drill out to do this. You don't need it out right now, but we're saving time. This is best over grass or ice. It's really hard to see over the rocks. So I'm going to fly over some grass. Now initially these are really hard to spot until you know what you're looking for. As you can see there, there are like brown patches in the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly down to these brown patches. This is why they're best found over the grass. Now with my drill out, if I put my drill away, you can see there you can see ice and magnesium. The reason you need your drill out is because if you haven't got your drill out, you can't see those ores. It's very limited at the range you can find this stuff. If you come to a dark patch and there's nothing there, dig down a little bit using your tunneling tool. And once you're down a little bit, you should be able to see those ores. That is how you find the ores. I'm going to try and find another one to give you another example. Okay, I think we're coming into some more. Yeah, we've got nickel and magnesium. Now what we're going to do is, now we've found this, we're going to put it on the map. So I am going to press K. K is like our, I don't know what this screen is called, but hey, it is what it is. We're going to go across to GPS. We're going to put a new from current position. What was it actually? It's nickel and magnesium. So I'm going to press K again. I'm going to go into GPS. There's my respawn bod. That's my base. I can rename that if I want. I'm going to go new from current position. Sausage fingers one. I'm going to now rename that uh, magnesium and nickel. And then I'm just going to click here. Now from now on, there, magnesium and nickel. You will always be able to find that. You will find hundreds and hundreds of different spots with the walls. So I'm going to go back into the K menu again. What I'm going to do, magnesium and nickel, I'm going to turn that off. Show on HUD. Now it's gone. It's still in there, so you can come back and turn it on when you need to. But now you can't see it. If you see rivers and oceans in the game, they are ice. They're not water, there is no water in the game. They are solid ice and you can drill that ice out. Ice is a great spot. It's a great spot for building on because it's perfectly flat. It's a great spot for mining ores because you can see the ores that are underneath it as well in the variations of the colours. Caves make fantastic bases because the wolves and the spiders can't get you. And you will by default make a cave anyway because you'll be drilling out these ores initially drilling out the stone to get the ores. Right, I've got all of this stuff. I'm going to double click it. I'll put the stone in. I'll double click all of this. The scrap you won't be able to do anything with initially because this is a basic assembler like I said before. So if I go into my build menu, my progression, if I build a basic assembler that will open up the rest of this stuff and basically the game will go, it will flow really nicely from there now i think that is pretty much everything you need to know to initially get started i really hope this helps and stops you from being as frustrated as i was when i first started i wish you an absolutely fantastic adventure in space engineers any problems leave me a comment anything else you need to know leave me a comment like i said i am a noob this is just stuff that i found that i got frustrated with initially Hope it helped. If it did, give us a like and a subscribe. I will see you all soon. Laters.